The new Minecraft snapshot makes living in the nether more comfortable for players. Oh, hi everyone, Doolin here, and welcome to Snapshot 20W15A. This one is a doozy. There was also a snapshot last week that I didn't cover because I only did the April Fool's one, which included changing this title screen, a few tweaks to the Strider mob, and a lot of technical changes. For more info on that, check out the description for very in-depth analysis by Raiseworks. So while we did spawn in a pretty cool area in the overworld here, uh, our main job is to go into the nether here and check out the newest biome, the Basalt Deltas. And this is really crazy. So the Basalt Delta is supposed to look like the remnants of a volcanic eruption. It is a bunch of basalt around, hence the name, uh, which is actually really nice because before this, there wasn't really a good way to get basalt in large quantities, and it's a pretty nice block to build with. There's a white ash particle in the game, which is pretty cool, and this is the place where magma cubes will spawn the most frequently, so it looks like they're sticking with their idea of having certain biomes spawning a specific mob, like the Soul Sand Valley spawning the Ghast, uh, the Crimson Valley spawning the Hoglin, and so on and so forth. This does look quite difficult to traverse, but honestly, that doesn't bother me too much. The Nether... Uh, should be a little bit harder to get around than the overworld just because you know it should be more dangerous and I definitely feel like this biome fits in the aspect of Minecraft and it also gives the player a little bit of a challenge to traverse especially with these things knocking you around possibly tossing into some lava so above we have the basalt and below we have a new block called blackstone and the reason i mentioned that this is a game changer for players in the nether is because blackstone can actually be used to make furnaces and make stone tools so you don't have to go from wooden tools uh, and jump directly up to gold so it makes the game a lot more balanced but uh, you also have some variants of blackstone like gilded blackstone i haven't been able to find this in the wild yet so i'm not sure if this is something you craft or something you find but you can break it with any level of tool including a wooden pickaxe and you just get the ore back but you get a chance of getting gold nuggets from it which i kind of find interesting but the reason i say that there are so many things to explore in this snapshot is right in front of me ladies and gentlemen they've added so many blocks in this snapshot which is absolutely insane so starting up over here we have quartz bricks which is absolutely going to change the game up when it comes to building uh, we also have chiseled nether brick and cracked nether brick you can get those by putting nether brick in a stone cutter and then we have all of these new blocks uh, that are variants of blackstone the only one that you can't get through the stone cutter is the cracked, but you just smelt uh, blackstone bricks in a furnace. So, starting at the left here, we have blackstone, blackstone walls, blackstone stairs and slabs, and then polished blackstone and all of its variants, including a pressure plate and a button. And then you have blackstone bricks and cracked blackstone bricks, and then you have chiseled black, uh, chiseled polished blackstone bricks. Man, that's a mouthful. I really like this texture. I think this is uh, this is nice. It's got like a like a little outlet. Uh, face on it which is kind of cool so they just added a ton of new blocks and this is going to be huge because they've added new black and white blocks which is really going to be interesting uh, to see what people can build with that I'm really excited to mess around with these in a video I have learned that this pattern is the piglin design because they've also added a piglin banner pattern and a soul campfire the nether vegetation is now compostable, which is super, super handy. Walls now stick to more things like iron bars and glass panes and even pickles. Okay, maybe not pickles, but uh, they connect to more things now, which is pretty cool. One thing to note, they still don't connect to end rods. Mobs will now avoid walking over campfires was added in the patch notes, but as you can see there, still doesn't look like that's uh, a thing. So it looks like they're working on that and uh, also not them walking on magma blocks. Dispensers got a ton of functionality this week. You can now saddle and armor your horse and your pig. You can put carpet and chests on llamas and you can shear mushrooms and snow golems all from dispensers now. Oh boy, speaking of shears, it's time to talk about leaves. Hoes are now the official tool for leaves so I'm curious to see how the different levels kind of treat leaves. Okay, so it's now it's now viable 
to spend your diamonds on a hoe. But the big question is what happens to shears? Oh, okay. So if you want leaves, you can use shears, but if you just want to get rid of the leaves, stick with a hoe. I think that's a very nice change. I think that's, yeah, that's, that's a really good idea, actually. I'm happy with that. If you hit pause, there's a few new options in chat settings, mainly line spacing, and then in accessibility settings, you have line spacing and chat delay. They've also added new music to the nether in the deltas, the crimson forest, and the nether wastes. You're currently listening to So Below, and there's two other songs. I will link to them in the description. One thing I really like about So Below in particular is all of the ambient sounds around us just add to it. Like, even, like, listen. There were also two new technical changes, uh, make of those what you will, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to do these snapshot videos more often. Uh, I really enjoy them and it gives me an in-depth look at some of the new blocks. I'm really, really excited for the Blackstone, the Blackstone variants and the Quartz Bricks. I think those are going to be absolute game changers in the builder community. So let me know what your favorite new block that they've added in this snapshot was in the comments below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, this is Doolin, and I'll see you later. Bye now.